all right so when there is too much glucose in the body the growth hormone stimulates the ins uh, the beta cells of the pancreas to release insulin and the insulin converts this glucose into what glycogen the glycogen is now taken up by the body cells and they are, they are accumulated in the body cells but there will be a time a certain time whereby there is too much accumulation of this um glycogen in the body cells and the body cell will not be able to take up this glycogen again it will lead to what the accumulation of glucose in the bloodstream the diabetogenic effect of growth hormone is just a clinical condition that is being presented when there is hyper secretion of growth hormone in a condition where there is hyper secretion of growth hormone it leads to you know stimulation of the of the beta cells of pancreas to release insulin okay insulin converts what the glucose in the bloodstream to glycogen so that the body cells can be able to take it up and store it as the body cell continues to store this glycogen the point will reach whereby it will no longer be able to take it up and you know as the growth hormone stimulates the beta cells of pancreas to release insulin constant stimulation of this beta cell will bring about the depletion of these beta cells okay and the depletion of these beta cells will result to what the deficiency of insulin because insulin will no longer be secreted how it ought to be secreted and it will bring about the accumulation of glucose in the bloodstream which is known as what full which will bring about full-blown diabetes and this condition is known as the diabetic di the diabetogenic effect of glucose so also the uh, the diabetogenic effect of growth hormone please also the growth hormone acts on bones okay it increases the bones the length of bones and you know it th there's a particular point that the bones the epiphysis of the bones fuses with the shaft okay 